This tutorial is all about paint, the two kinds of paint which are emulsion paint and oil paint and their similarities and their differences. It also covers colloids which are special kinds of mixtures which are used in paint amongst other things. You need to know why paint's used in a particular context to understand about the three main ingredients of a paint and what they're for and to understand the differences between oil paints and emulsion paints. Also, you must understand the meaning of the term colloid, a special kind of mixture. So first, colloids. Now, colloids are special kinds of mixtures. They're mixtures where the particles of one substance are mixed and dispersed within the particles of another, but they don't actually dissolve. However, the particles being so small never separate out and they're dispersed all the way through the liquid. An example of a colloid is milk. Milk contains tiny, tiny droplets of an oil, which is uh, butter fat, which is mixed in with all the particles of the other liquid, which is water, but they're not dissolved. However, they don't separate out because they're scattered and dispersed so finely within the water that they're too small to settle out. Similarly, paint consists of colloids, tiny particles of substances which are dispersed throughout the liquid and don't separate out. Paint's used for all sorts of things, but generally it's to protect a surface. For example, if you have a crumbling wall or a metal that might corrode or rust, if it's left outside, then often we use paint to protect it. So we might paint, for example, a fence to make sure that it doesn't corrode. We also paint things to make them look more attractive, for example, our front doors or our bedroom walls. Paint is a liquid, but it dries because it's applied in a very thin layer and then the solvent evaporates and leaves behind the paint on the painted surface. The first kind of paint we're going to look at is emulsion paint. This is the kind of paint which we might use to paint the walls of our bedroom or the ceiling. It's got three main ingredients. The first ingredient is solvent, and the solvent for an emulsion paint is usually water. This evaporates as the paint dries, and it also makes the paint runny and able to be spread out over the wall. It thins the paint, in effect. The second thing is a pigment. These are the tiny particles of solid colour which are dispersed throughout the liquid as a colloid. Finally, we have a binding medium, and this is another substance dispersed in the paint as a colloid. For example, in most emulsion paints, this is called vinyl acetate, or PVA monomer. And as the paint dries, it forms a polymer, a hard-wearing coating. And this sticks the pigment in a layer to the wall and stops it washing off. Because emulsion paint has water as a solvent, you can wash the brushes afterwards with water. Oil paint has different uses. Oil paint tends to be used for, for example, painting skirting boards or doors, garage doors, outside doors. It's a much more robust kind of paint and often very glossy. An oil paint has the same three main ingredients. It has a solvent. Uh, this isn't water, it's usually an ester. And again, this evaporates as the paint dries and it also thins the paint. There's a pigment, which is again is tiny solid particles of colour dispersed as a colloid, and then a binding medium, which again holds the pigment to the wall once the paint has dried. So in summary, three main parts to a paint. The pigment, which is the substance that gives its colour to the paint. The binding medium, which sticks those pigments to the surface being painted. And the solvent, which thins the paint to make it spread more easily and evaporate as the paint dries. In emulsion paint the solvent is water whereas in oil paint the solvent is not water it's usually an ester. The oil paint also contains an oil and the oil is dissolved in the solvent. Both paints dry by the solvent evaporating. Looking at these pictures, would you use a gloss or oil paint or would you use an emulsion? Well, this front door here, rather familiar, would be a gloss paint or oil paint. 
as would the railings here and the garage door, whereas the ceiling and wall of this room you would use emulsion as you would use an outdoor emulsion for the outside of this house. This question is about paints. Look at the table. It shows the three materials used to make paint. It also shows their jobs and complete the table. You're asked to complete the uh, table by saying what the job of the solvent is. Well, we might say it thins the paint, making it easy to spread. Pigments give the paint its colour. Some pigments are thermochromic. What's meant by a thermochromic pigment? Well, this is covered in a later tutorial. However, we'll answer it here. It is one which changes colour when heated or cooled. And paints are colloids. Look at the sentences about colloids. Which sentences about colloids are correct? Okay, there's two which are correct. Particles are mixed and dispersed throughout a liquid. Yes, that's correct. Solid particles are dissolved. No, they're not dissolved. They're dispersed, but not dissolved. A colloid is a single compound. No, it's a mixture. Solid particles are suspended in a liquid. Yes, that sounds about right. A colloid is two separated liquids. No, they're not separate. And those are the allowable answers for those questions. This question is about paint. Look at the table. It shows the ingredients of a paint. What ingredient is in the greatest amount? Well, we simply have to look at which one has got the highest percentage. This here is the binder. What's the job of the pigment in a paint? It is to give it colour. And finally, what's the job of the solvent in a paint? We might say it thins the paint. Draw a straight line to join each type of paint to its best description. You should only draw three straight lines. The type of paint then, oil paint. Right here then, it looks like it's a pigment which is dispersed in oil. Phosphorescent paint, again we haven't covered this on this particular tutorial but a phosphorescent paint is one which glows in the dark and again a thermochromic paint came up a little earlier we haven't covered it in this tutorial it's a paint that changes colour when it's heated and finally those are the allowable answers for each of those questions that we've covered do wind back and have another look at those questions should you wish